Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. I know we have some visitors with us because the Corral's here. Thanks for uh, joining us and being part of this today. A few things for our church family, just so you know. Uh, Children's Church is staying in during the service today, and just because we're singing and having some fun together, and there are packets at the Welcome Center. Center. Gloria has some of those if uh, you need them for the service. Um, other than that, I know a couple ABF classes today are staying for lunch to have lunch with the Corral, and so thanks for that. Um, another couple things, don't forget, next week um, we are going to continue our series in Ephesians. It's kind of uh, beautifully appropriate. We are studying Ephesians chapter 6. Last week we preached through 13 through, or 10 through 13 of chapter 6. And this uh, presentation today actually is engulfing that whole section. And then we'll study the text next week of Ephesians 6, 6 through 20. So some fun with that. And then the next week, Sunday night, we do have a church potluck. Um, information is in the e-bulletin. And so I encourage you to look at that. Other than that, I want to take a moment and pray and thank the Lord for our day. And then we will get started. Let's pray. God, you are so good. And we love that we get to serve you. We love that we get to worship you. We love that we get to live for you. You have sustained us this week. You have protected. You have guided. And it is amazing that we can gather together once a week to be part of a community of believers that trust you, that wants to live for you. We want to be a testimony in this community because we live and we know a dark world. And so many people trust so many other things. But we trust the living God. And Father, our prayer is that through our time this morning, through our time of studying in our ABF hour, that we'd be encouraged, that we'd be reminded of truth, that we would be strengthened because of what you have done for us and your spirits leading in our lives. And I pray, Father, that you would remind us of great truths today. We know that coming to church can be routine, can be something that we don't, we don't often re- prepare for. But Father, we want our hearts open for the truth that we will hear today. We want to be submissive to your will. We want to hear truth that we would live for you. Thank you for the privilege of being together, and thank you for being our God. Thank you for sustaining us. We adore you because you have done so much. And because you're our God. Thanks, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.
be here from Faith Baptist Bible College in Ankeny, Iowa. We drove yesterday through the wind. I didn't drive, I rode, but other people drove our very high profile vehicles through the wind. We stayed on the road for the most part. It was good. We're glad to be here. You're our first stop on our tour. This is spring break for us. Nice, warm, sunny weather in Michigan, I'm sure. Uh, so these students have given up their spring break to tour around and sing and minister to churches. We're going to be at a couple of Christian schools. And uh, so we're going to be throughout the state here this next week and hopefully serving and ministering to people here in the state of Michigan. I was, uh, I was debating whether or not to explain the brake drum. If you went up there, we actually have him. That's, he was hitting a brake drum. Can anybody guess what that was supposed to symbolize? So um, the, the uh, mighty fortress is Martin Luther, right? Nailing nailing the thesis to the, to the door at the church in Wittenberg. So that was what that was supposed to be. Now, now it makes sense, right? <laughs> Wish we'd have known that before. Uh, our theme to this morning is going to be stand firm, as was mentioned, and uh, you know, by the Holy Spirit's working, you're working through this very passage of Scripture right now. So hopefully, we don't need to do a lot of talking, but we can demonstrate some of these pieces of armor, some of the, the thinking that maybe goes behind that in song. Uh, we're going to start with two. Here, I'll try to keep my comments to a minimum, but we're going to talk about the, uh, God's Word, the truth, right? We find truth in God's Word. So God's Word, my guide, will be our first song here. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. And then secondly, having on the, the breastplate of righteousness. Create in me a clean heart. It's very easy for us, I think, to find sources of truth outside of the Word of God. In troubling times, as we're looking through all the things that are happening here in the world, uh, locally, far away. Uh, there's just a lot of troubling things going on, and it's easy for us to find truth out there, or what claims to be truth, and, and latch onto that instead of looking to the Word of God. So we need to first do that, first look at the Word of God when we're trying to withstand these attacks from Satan. Secondly, it's also very easy for us to point fingers, look at what they're doing that's wrong, and really we need to first look inwardly and make sure that we have Righteousness, that we are being clean, that we have a clean heart before God, as the psalmist says in Psalm 51. So that song is based on that. Our first two, God's word my guide and create in me a clean heart. Disappointments of my life surround and cause my 
Perhaps the one thing that sets us apart from the world, it is the one thing that is the gospel of Christ, right? We understand that Christ came to die for us, but they don't, and that really causes problems for them, right? So we can go with the gospel. We understand first that Christ died for our sins. That's the, the, the gospel shoes, right? And we can have that understanding that we can take to the world. We'll talk about taking it out to the world later, but our next two songs really focus in on what Christ did for us, that he came to die for our sins that we could have eternal life in heaven, but also have hope while we are here on earth. And that really has, gives us a different view of things as they happen around us.
knowing that Christ has done all of that for us, we can have hope. We have faith, yes? I think that's next, right? Yes, the shield of faith, right? <laughs> we can see what God has done in the past. Has God ever let us down? I guarantee 100% of us can look backwards and see, yes, God was there the whole time. He guided our steps and directed our paths. Even when we didn't know what was happening at the time, we can see now most of the time, maybe not everything yet, but most of the time we can see what God has been doing. He's always been there. By faith, we can see that, that he has done what he has done for our good, and we can have hope that in the future he will do what is good for us. And uh, that is a really wonderful thing as you're thinking through all of these things going on around us. Um, it's easy to lose that hope, but we know God is there. God is in control. He has led in the past. He will continue to lead in the future.
Jesus. Amen. Hello. Uh, I, my name is Charlie, and don't worry, I'm not singing. I am just the bus driver. I'm not going to do any singing, and you all say, praise the Lord, right? Uh, I just want to take a brief moment to share about faith, the school that we came from. Now, I know what's happening right now in your minds and hearts. How many of you like sports? Anyone like sports? Now, when you get to the halftime show of a big game, you know, you're watching the Super Bowl, very few people really care about the commercials. I'm the commercials. I get that, okay? And so the second half is just around the corner. Don't worry about it. But while they get a drink and they pray and they get rested up, just want to share a little bit about faith. And uh, I'm not sure how familiar you are with Faith Baptist Bible College in Ankeny, Iowa. We are a fully accredited four-year Bible college with a number of degrees that you can learn about back at our table. And uh, we would love to talk with you about it. Uh, my role at Faith, I was, I've done a whole bunch of things at Faith. I was a student. Uh, I was working in student life as the dean of men. And now I do a bunch of random stuff with the online school. And, you know, none of that really matters. What really matters about Faith is that we just love discipleship. And I think you can see it in the faces and the hearts of the students that stayed in your homes, if you were one of those hosts, that uh, these students love the Lord, and they're learning to serve Him, and that's what faith is all about. Whether they're training for pastoral ministry or missions, or to be a school teacher, or just to get some Bible knowledge before they go off to whatever vocation, uh, we're trying to help them serve the Lord and to serve as unto Christ, as you, I think, were uh, talking about maybe last week in Ephesians 6. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but to really serve the Lord from their heart. And uh, so we're so thankful to be here and share that with you in song. 
If you have any questions about faith, come back to our table. Uh, I think there's a slide, maybe. It's on the back of the program about some upcoming events. Uh, if you are a young person and are interested in sports or music, you can come out to our campus this summer, and uh, we'd love to give you more information about that if you're interested. Before we transition to the second half of the program, we do have a special music by Logan, who's a senior over here from Michigan, so he's one of your own. He's going to play How Great Thou Art for You, and then we'll transition to the second half of the program. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, we're so excited to be here.
can sing that because we understood what Christ did for us, yes? Perhaps you're here today and you don't know that. You don't understand. Why, why are these people happy? Well, they have an assurance that their sins are forgiven. It's a wonderful thing to, be, to stand forgiven before God because of the work of Jesus Christ. We were all without hope. We all sin and fall short of that glory of God. But God in his mercy sent Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, who lived a perfect life, was led to the cross, died, was buried, rose again, and bore our sins on that cross, paid our penalty. And now, those, for those who have accepted that free gift, it's a free gift, they have that assurance. And that provides joy and peace that nothing else can, can give. So if you have questions, there's a lot of well-dressed people up here that would love to talk to you afterwards if you want to know more about uh, what Christ has done for you. Uh, for the rest of us who know, we have an obligation now to take. What's the one offensive weapon? The sword of the Spirit, right? Take the word and get it out there. That's what the people need. Yes, we need a lot of things in our country and around the world, right? But what we really need is the gospel. We need people to go out from here. It doesn't even have to be around the world. It can be your neighbor. It can be that coworker. We need to go with boldness. We need to reach the world. God has promised his word will not return empty. And we have a duty to take the word to the world. Oh. 
just one voice that takes a stand, that makes a choice to live for God and not hesitate to tell the world about amazing grace. One day that seed somehow breaks through. country that's much different than it used to be. What our country needs is the gospel. And we need to be the ones to take it to them. No matter what happens, we need to be faithful to what God has called us to do, which may involve persecution. In our next song, it has a very patriotic feel to it, but the text is, in God we trust, in God alone. Though persecution soon may come, help me to stand if all alone. The only way we're going to stand is if we put on the armor of God to stand against the attacks of the enemy, of the devil.
they volunteered to come for spring break. And so one of the things that if you want to bless and encourage the corral, um, there's a box in the foyer. We don't pass plates. Um, but if you want to give a gift to Faith and kind of help them with their cost for this travel, feel free to do that. Grab an envelope from the pew. But I want to give you one verse before they sing their last song. Ephesians 6, 10 through 13 says this. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, it says, take up the whole armor that you will be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all. That is our privilege, to do all, to stand. And that is our prayer.
Thank you, my friends. Thanks for being here. Let me pray. Father, you are good, and you are our God. And as we've been reminded today through song, that we have the great privilege to stand in this world that we live in, and we have the great power of standing in your righteousness, standing with your word. And Lord, I pray that you would encourage us as we think through this week how we can do this better. Lord, I thank you for the privilege to be together, and I pray your richest blessing upon each person that came today and that watched online. I pray that you would sustain us as we serve you, as we live for you this week, that we would practice what we have heard today and be reminded of this truth. Thanks, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. You're dismissed. Have a good day. Thanks.